Hello, we are Team Arc Troopers, and this is our Finger Puppet Management final presentation. You have been introduced to us before, but in case you forgot, our group members are Alyssa Humphrey, Samantha Belford, Avery Franz, Kenneth Ellington, Tabitha Shively, and Christina Joyce. We all played equal roles in the creation of our concepts and episodes throughout the semester. We split up the character development, episode management, and milestone production evenly. We worked extremely well together and used communication as our greatest asset. Our setting is a bakery in the town of St. Petersburg, Russia. We created multiple characters that helped the concept we were trying to portray. The main characters are Dmitri and Vladimir Petrov. Dmitri is the leader of the Red Mafia gang. Dmitri tempts Vladimir on multiple occasions. He tries to conv convince Vladimir to forget about ethical decision making and morals. Vladimir must decide how to handle Dmitri without his business being used for illegal activities. Eventually, the Petrov family decides to take a stand against the Red Mafia. The target concept in our storyline is mainly to show ethical behavior and decision making. We focused our TV shows audience for anyone between the age 15 and 50, especially people who own or operate their own small businesses. The first character in our TV show is Vladimir. He took over the family bakery at 23 years old. He was forced to grow up fast, which shows his maturity. He is a business thinker that is honest, hardworking, and loyal. He knows what his customers expect and never strays away from his mission statement. He always puts his family first and knows his bakery is the best in the area. Next is Rita. Rita is Vladimir's wife. She is beautiful, intelligent, and quick on her feet. She watches after the children most of the time. Then, when, then we have the oldest son, Alexander. He always makes ethical decisions and wants to grow up and take over the family bakery, just like his dad. The middle child, Alexei, is rude, irresponsible, and inconsiderate. He is selfish and has recently started to be involved with ties to the Red Mafia gang. He goes behind his father's back. Next is the youngest child, Alina. She is sassy, smart, and fearless. Growing up the youngest with two older brothers has made her strong and she would do anything to protect her family. Now for the evil villains. Victor Kozlov is an ambitious extrovert that uses his charm to make people think he cares about them. He wants to be a high-ranking government employee in St. Petersburg, but he doesn't have the funds. He ends up wrapped in the arms of the Red Mafia gang to find the funding. Finally, Dmitri. Dmitri grew up with Vladimir and fell down the wrong path. He is the leader of the Red Mafia gang and manipulates everyone to fall for his lies. He is evil, selfish, and cold-hearted. He wants nothing but power and money. Now we are going to explain how we used management concepts within the storyline of our TV show. In episode 1, we talked about human resource management. This was incorporated through the, recruit the recruitment of local businesses by the Red Mafia. Dimitri would convince small businesses to be used as drug and sex trafficking fronts. Human resource management can be a difficult concept to tackle in the business world, especially when applied to something like this. It can either have great success for a business or allow someone to manipulate others like in this case. In episode 2 we use two management concepts, ethical decision making being the first and informalization strategic method being the second. Vladimir is forced to decide whether or not he wants to accept Dmitri's proposal which is illegal. He must use his decision-making skills to decide what is ethical and will be the best decision for his bakery and his family. Then, Dmitri uses an informalization method to blackmail Vladimir. If Vladimir doesn't cooperate, then Dmitri will have Victor, a government worker, shut the bakery down for tax evasion. Both concepts are demonstrated multiple times throughout our episodes because Vladimir must continue to make hard decisions that focus on ethical decision making.
Our group believes this class has been one of the most thought-provoking and physically applied management courses any of us have taken. Usually, when you think of management courses, you think of sitting in class, reading through a book, learning terms, and taking notes. Boring. This class requires some of that, but in a much more in-depth approach. Management is about being able to work with anyone you are paired with and helping solve problems and issues for business. If you are unable to work in all types of environments, it will be hard for you to be a manager. This class helps you learn what it takes to fill a management role while helping you through a thoroughly guided course. Being paired in a group at the beginning of the semester and completing all the work on time has been our most challenging management task. Also, you must be a leader and not be afraid of criticism, as well as not shying away from criticizing in a respectful manner. The Principles of Management book gives us a very basic but needed lesson on how management should operate successfully. <laughs> Some things that will help you in your future management could be finding a good internship in college. Management is about learning from experience, and the more you get, the better you become at handling situations. Most of all, the managerial skills the professor has given us mo must be practiced and applied throughout all situations. Finally, learning all of these skills while still in college will be a great promoter when seeking a future employer. We have many recommendations for the future principals and management students that should help. Keep this in mind when trying to complete this course's large amount of assignments. First, keep yourself accountable and your group accountable because if you wait until the last minute to do your work, you will fail. Don't be afraid to ask questions. You have great teachers. Use them. Also, start early. This will make it easier on everyone. If the assignments are due on Sunday, it would be best to allocate the duties every Monday, the week of, or before. This way, it will give students at least five days to complete their own tasks. Also, do your best to evenly distribute the work. There is a lot of work, but if you evenly distribute it, it is accomplishable. Assign a team leader that can take charge and assign an even workload to everyone. Otherwise, it's hard to figure out what you need to do because each week different tasks are assigned. Our group shared a lot of similar reflections about this course. First, we want to thank Professor Diazio and Ms. Weekly for being so considerate when we were confused or struggling. You guys really helped us push through the trials and tribulations that a group may encounter. You gave great insight into completing projects and your email response time is superb. Without you two, we don't think this class would have been so useful to our education about management. Next, we want to tell you how nervous we were at the beginning of the semester after reading the syllabus. ARC Troopers really broke us out of our comfort zone and allowed us to expand our forms of communication with one another. It was, a great, it, it was great to have an experience working in an online group environment without physically meeting each other. We want to leave you with this. This class has been an inspiration because we have been broken out of our shells and pushed into the hard work management required. So once again, Team ARC Troopers thanks you. We would love for you to read our group's individual reflections that provide more personal responses.